On ZocDoc, you can see real, verified patient reviews to help you find the right doctor in your network and in your neighborhood. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them. Go to ZocDoc.com slash something and download the ZocDoc app for free. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash something. ZocDoc.com slash something. Hi, my sweet strangerlings. Before we begin today's spooky tale, I just want to let you guys know that I'm super excited to be going out of town. What are you guys looking forward to this summer? Let me know down below because I'm going to be going to this amazing place in Arizona and we're going to be going ghost hunting. So I'll let you know all about it as I come back from this trip. So without further ado, let's get on with today's spooky tale, shall we? Hi, I'm Stephanie Strange. Want to hear something scary? You should always use caution while exploring new places with unfamiliar traditions and games. You may not be aware of how deadly they can be. This cautionary tale is in honor of Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. It was my first summer studying abroad in Kyoto, Japan. I always found myself captivated by the rich culture. Its fascinating elements had always allured me and finally being immersed in it made me realize its true beauty and uniqueness. During my trip, I had the pleasure of staying with the Nakamura family. The friendly parents were fluent in English and even had a son named Yodo, who was my age and agreed to show me around. The food was amazing and the Shinto shrines we visited were so beautiful. But thanks to Yoto, I was able to become part of his friend circle and on most weekends we would go to the fashion district and hang out. One of my favorite things from those days was our weekly mini slumber parties. Made me feel like I took part of my home with me as we had an American style slumber party with pizza and movies and a couple of friends who would come over every Friday night. And the boys would stay in Yoto's room while the girls stayed in mine. Now on this particular Friday night, I decided to spice things up by sharing stories about Ouija boards. My friends chuckled at the revelation and one of them brought up Hitori Kakarembo, but Yoto silenced him, not eager to hear the tale. Nevertheless, the friend reshared the story against Yoto's will. He described a game of hide and seek where at the stroke of 3 a.m., the objective was to outsmart a stuffed animal possessed by a ghost. Now, I laughed at how absurd this was, but Yoto wanted nothing to do with it. Despite his concerns, the others were eager to play. So we watched from the sidelines while they played on. Now, I didn't mind, especially since Yoto was one of my hosts and wanted to keep me safe. As the night dragged on, one of the girls reached into her backpack and took out this dusty old stuffed bear. I offered some rice from the kitchen and Yoto reluctantly handed them scissors. We watched in eerie silence until the clock struck 3 a.m. Within minutes, the two boys had cut open the bear's stomach, removed the stuffing and refilled it with the rice. Pointing with the scissors, they asked again who wanted to play. Yota pleaded with them not to continue the game, but no one listened. I again declined out of respect for Yoto. One by one, our four friends pricked their fingers, drawing a few drops of blood, and then adding it to the rice inside the cavity. Once everyone had participated, the boys sewed up the teddy bear with the red yarn, wrapping it with the remainder. Next, they needed the tub. Yoto sat frozen, so I stood up and showed them to the bathroom. We piled in and they filled up the tub, poured in salt, then put the bear in the water. They ran to hide in my closet as I sat next to Yoto on the bed. He was sweating at this point, looking quite unwell. The four came out of the closet, returned to the tub, pulled out the bear and yelled, got you, in Japanese. Then they stabbed it with the scissors, leaving the bear on the ground. They went to hide again, this time in the living room behind us. The lights were off, making it fairly dark. Everyone was silent and that's when we heard it. The scissors were being slowly dragged across the floor. Suddenly, the four players flew into a panic, grabbing a glass and gulping the liquid. Yoto explained that they had to hold salt water in their mouths for protection. But as three of them stood there with their mouths filled, there was none left for the fourth player, Ayoto. As he began to yell at the others who had used up all the salt water, the sound of the scissors grew closer. Ayoto ran towards the kitchen to refill the glass, but as he disappeared, we heard him scream. Then came what sounded like flesh being torn. Yoto leaped up and ran to turn on the lights. Ayoto was laying on the floor, deep gashes all over his torso. 
The scissors protruded from his abdomen as he bled out, and the teddy lay next to him. The other players, with their mouths still full, crawled over to the bear and spat the water onto it. Then they wept in disbelief. What we had witnessed didn't make sense. Within a week, I was being sent back to the States. As the car pulled up to take me away, I had said goodbye to the Nakamura parents and hugged Yoto. I asked him if he was okay, and the last thing he said to me was, just because we didn't play doesn't mean the game is over. Then he walked away holding those same scissors in his hands. Hitori Kakarembo never ends. Let's talk real life horror stories about notorious serial killers like Jack the Ripper. Or keep things on the lighter end with some unexplained encounters in Georgia where mysterious hands are pulling people underwater. It's all lighthearted nightmare on the Morbid Podcast. Hosted by Alania Eckhart and Ash Kelly, Morbid is a full dose of true crime with a splash of comedy. This month, Morbid is celebrating its five year anniversary. To celebrate, the show is releasing a special anniversary series, a festive edition of listener tales and more surprises all month long. Follow Morbid wherever you get your podcast. You can listen early and ad-free on the Amazon Music or Wondery app. Thanks so much for listening. Like and share if this video gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. See you next time.